welcome to Long Street My Book. Today I'm here to interview Tom Engelberger at the Southern Festival of Books. Let's get to the interview. When did you start writing? Well, let's see. When I was in the fifth grade, I won an essay contest about patriotism, and I got ten dollars. Actually, I think I came in second. The second prize, ten dollars. So that was really the start of the whole thing. After that, once I saw that you could make as much as ten dollars just for writing, I was pretty hooked. Uh, and then uh, comic strips, comic books, kept writing stuff ever since. How did I start writing? Well, I guess it's mostly it would be with a pencil. Um, the comic strip, if you're that, that was a comic strip about cowboys that rode on snails instead of horses. And I wrote that in the seventh grade, and that didn't really take off. And then I tried to write a novel, and that didn't take off. And then I had just year after year of things that didn't exactly take off. But you know what? Eventually, eventually I found something. What was your favorite book as a kid? All right, my favorite books as a kid were the books by Pinkwater. Now, remember I was telling you, you need to read Pinkwater. Lizard Music, The Snark Out Boys, Alan Mendelssohn. Great books, great books. I love those books. And then also, have you ever read the Book of Three series by Lloyd Alexander? Another book you got to read. That's that's not funny stuff. That's a very incredible fantasy series. Absolutely recommend that. So that's Lloyd Alexander, Pinkwater, and of course you need to read The Westing Game by Ellen Rask. Oh yes, I'm reading that. Oh great, that's a great book. Yes, did you know that Origami Yoda was rejected by the first editor? Yes. And it was not an outright rejection, but it was one of those things, well, if you completely change everything about it, we'll think about it. And uh, luckily my agent backed me up and said, you know what, why don't we just take it somewhere else? Okay. But then I do have other books that have been rejected so badly that they will never see the light of the day. This is the first one. Um, did you have to get a special permission from George Lucas to use Star Wars characters? Well, now, to be honest with you, I can't claim that George Lucas even knows about the books. You know, I don't know that he does. However, Lucasfilm, his company, uh, has been great to work with. They've given us permission. They get, I don't know, a few pennies per book or something. Um, but they've given us permission to do it, and they've been so wonderful about it. And uh, it's just great because getting to be officially licensed by Star Wars and then I got to go to Skywalker Ranch. And how was Skywalker? <laughs> it was awesome, dude. It was awesome. Totally awesome. Okay. What was your favorite Star Wars movie? It was and is Empire Strikes Back. And possibly, you know, one of the top movies ever made of, of any type of movie. It's totally just a, just a perfect movie. It's so good. That is tough. I, you know, I love Yoda. Um, that was a big part of the reason why Yoda ended up, you know, changing my life in this book. Love Yoda. Um, if you want to know my favorite villain, that would be Grandma Parkin. Favorite monster, the Rancor. Favorite spaceship, the Millennium Falcon. Anything else you can think of? Favorite, favorite people character, General Rebus. I think that covers most of the bases. How about you? Oh, my favorite Star Wars character is Anakin. Anakin? Okay. Hold a second. He's the bad guy. How do you Oh, yeah, 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 and that's when I first saw your stuff. What are the other questions? Favorite bad guy? Oh, Darth Vader. Okay, oh, that makes sense. Favorite monster? Yeah, Creature. The Sarlacc. The Sarlacc. He's hard to beat. You gotta love the Sarlacc. I was curious what show Are we just ever gonna find out if Origami Yoda can tell the future? Don't you believe in Origami Yoda? Yes. Well, then you know. Yes, you can't tell. <laughs> okay. Of course, I would have said the same thing if you'd said you didn't want to ignore it. Harvey Keitel. Harvey 
can be bullied. Did you ever have to deal with bullies at school? Sure, I did. But I, you know, I, it hurts me from that Harvey is a bully. Harvey is a bully at times, I agree. But he's not in his heart a bully. Yeah. Harvey actually just wants people to like him. Uh, he just wants people to think he's funny. And he just does it the wrong way. But he's not, he doesn't set out to hurt people's feelings, but he does hurt people's feelings. Have you ever had trouble making origami yoda? And was like, did you actually decide those origami yodas? Yeah, I have, I have about three basic origami yodas. This guy, the guy that's in the book, and then the guy that's on the cover. And I don't know if you've read on my website, the guy on the cover, that's it. I made him one time. I sent him to New York. I completely forgot how he was made. He ended up on the cover. I don't know how to make him. So he's it. He's the only one. But yes, those are my designs. But I was inspired by Kawaha, the Kawahata Yoga. I don't know if you've ever Googled the Kawahata Yoga. Kawahata Yoda uh, is fantastic. It's so much better than anything I've ever done. It's amazing. So we're kind of oh, thank you. Yeah. Can I say that? Yes. No, I'm afraid I can't. But Origami Yoda Kid ate my book before the monster did. Hmm? All right, man, you're awesome. Thanks a lot. Thank you.